hi welcome to my channel and today i have another theatre vlog for you so this evening we are going to the manchester opera house and we're going to go and see greece uh in greece i think peter andre is actually starring in this one i'm not quite sure who he is i think lawrence is his teen angel not sure so i think he's playing two parts so yeah he's in it tonight and it should be a good night we actually bought the cheapest tickets we only paid 13 pounds for our tickets we are sat in the grand tier i think we're on row n i don't think we've got aisle seats i like aisle seats i don't think there's any aisle seats left so i think we're slightly in from the aisle but yeah i'll show you our view usually i'm quite pleased with the view up there you can see quite well um i'll try and record the curtain call for you and yeah it should be a fun evening we're also going to quickly we're also going to quickly nip to Paramount Weatherspoons to get some food and the reason we go there is because it's really quick because uh, my parents can't pick the kids up till five and we have to be there at seven so by the time we get into town we only have like an hour to get food and it's really really quick at Weatherspoons so that's why we go there we're hoping maybe to try and go somewhere else to then go Nando's or something because there's a Nando's just behind the theatre uh, but my parents couldn't pick them up any earlier so yeah we're gonna go paramount again and yeah we're really looking forward to this evening we're hopefully gonna get a program and um, maybe some other merch i'm not sure but we shall see i'll show you whatever merch they have and so yeah i think we're just about to head off for the tram now and i'll get back to you probably once we get into town lawrence is quickly trying to get the tickets because there's a one minute till the tram Still waiting for them to print. <laughs> I hope you lose up though because I've not got much battery left on my phone and the tickets are on my phone and my COVID pass so yeah. hopefully it's not too long. So, food has arrived. I have my usual chicken burger with cheese and bacon. He's gone for barbecue beef burger. No, ultimate beef burger with a side of barbecue. Um, ultimate beef burger with a side of barbecue. So I've got that. And then of course, I have to go for my garlic bread and cheese. I've got a copper bag. I got Diet Coke and then this only came to 20 quid so not bad. Yeah, so we've just finished our food and we are just walking up to the theatre now. It's raining. Lawrence is just in front of me. I ended up having to send my burger back because it was not very nice. And I got another one and that wasn't very nice either so yeah. Dinner wasn't great but hopefully the show will make up for it so Lawrence Lauren, has just nipped into Tesco to get us some water that is just up there, so it's not far. So here is the theatre, just waiting for Lawrence and we're across the table. I think he's heading up now. Yeah, there's a queue to get in and they're checking Covid passes and tickets and things. So I think it's just, ooh, I'm just in Lawrence way, just caught up at 7 o'clock. We're just here, theatre there, just behind me. I think we're about ready to go in. It is raining, but I'll just show you the theatre.
the box office. You've got your refreshment stands. I think it's press match. Oh, there. We're going to get a picture at this, aren't we, Lauren? So we are in the gallery season, so we'll put the top. You got a proper look for Yeah, we didn't buy anything else. I want to see who Sandy's staying because I think I might recognise her. Yeah, we didn't buy anything else. I was thinking about a fridge magnet, but our fridge, we can't put magnets on, so we're a bit of weight. So, yeah, we just got a program this time. And Lawrence is very happy about that, aren't you? Thanks, buddy. <laughs>
finished. We're just heading to the tram now. Really enjoyed it. What do you think? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was really good. I like the uh, mix that they did at the I end. Miss the end of the two, yeah. That was fun. Some, maybe some uh, seeing and what I was thinking of No, five star. Yeah, but I enjoyed it. It was good. So we are just waiting for the tram now. It's about three minutes, not long. <laughs> So we are now back from the show um, I actually really enjoyed the show, I thought it was really good. I think with Grease you always enjoy it, it's just a good fun, just a fun musical to go and see and it's always a good one. Um, Peter Andre was actually in this, he was playing Teen Angel and Vince Fontaine so he had two parts. And I actually really enjoyed his performance, I enjoyed um, his voice in, in, in the ones that he sang, I think he sang two songs, he had two songs. Actually, they were two of my favourite ones, actually, that he did. Um, he did them really well. So, yeah, his performance was really good. Um, I first thought Sandy was really, really good in it. I really liked her voice. And, yeah, it was just a good musical. Um, so, we did buy the programme. The programme was £5. Didn't buy any other merch. It just wasn't anything that I really wanted. Uh, I think Grease isn't really one of my favourite musicals. And I do already have some bits that I bought when I've been previously. In fact, I think it was exactly 10 years ago the last time I went to see Grease. I can't believe it's been 10 years since I last saw Grease the musical. It doesn't seem like that long, but apparently that's how long it's been because it popped up on my Facebook the other day. Um, so I think I already have a mug um, and I might even have a fridge magnet as well. So I didn't think I needed to buy anything else. But I did have quite a few bits of um, merch they had t-shirts i didn't see hoodies i think they just did t-shirts they had a key ring bridge magnet um mug uh face mask they did a tote bag and other things i think i filmed the little thing that's listed everything that they did and i tried to film all the merch so that i'll probably you probably will have seen that but yeah they did do quite a lot of merch and yeah it was just a really fun show so this is our program it's got a bit about the opera house in it just telling you a bit about the venue just here it tells you a bit about the venue um what else has it got in it yeah have more about the opera house the venue uh, i think it's got a bit about the movie is it it's got a bit about the history of greece how it came to the theatre and Stuff like that. It's got some pictures from the show. It's actually quite a good little program because some get no information at all. And obviously, it's got the cast. It's got Peter Andre there. And then this is the person that played Sandy. She was really good. And just the cast. And yeah. There we go. That is the program. So I thought that was quite a nice little program for five pounds. Got quite a bit of information in there. And yeah, I thought it was a good production. They had good sets. I thought the sets were quite good. Um, the costumes were all nice. And and I think my favourite scene um, from it was the hand jive. Uh, I really enjoyed that scene. Uh, I enjoyed all the dancing in that bit. And yeah, I just really enjoyed hand jive song and I think Peter Andre sang that as well Peter Andre sang it but I just loved all the dancing in that I thought it was really really fun so that was my favorite scene from the musical and yeah just a fun music so yeah Greece is on at the Opera House till the 23rd of October so I think when this goes up it's still on for another week so if you are interested tickets are still available um you can get tickets from 13 pounds and that is in the grand tier and I honestly think it's still a good view, you can still see every. Well, actually, you couldn't see everything. Um, Vince Montaigne is the DJ, and he's sort of raised up, and he's obviously Peter Andre's character. And you actually couldn't see him because of the, um, the way the theatre is. Um, on the ground here, you couldn't see his head, his head sort of got chopped off. Um, so you actually couldn't see that up there. But he wasn't really doing much, he was just 
play music like a DJ so you didn't really miss much but the rest of the view is I thought quite good uh, for £13 rather than paying £80 and being at the bottom I'm quite happy to pay £13 and sit at the top if it means I can go and see more shows uh, so yeah I thought it was a really good good show and yeah definitely recommend it if you like like a fun it's just like a fun high energy um, show so yeah hope you have enjoyed this little vlog if you have please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon for another theatre vlog bye